It's his first ever double moto victory. He wins here at Lommel. His first Grand Prix victory since Lira in the deep sand in 2013. Gertje Paulan, two second place finishes for him. He'll be second overall. Sean Simpson takes victory here. He's shouting underneath that helmet. He is absolutely ecstatic. Great ride for him. And uh, yeah, everybody going to be happy. One of the nicest guys in the paddock at the yeah. as well. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Lukers is my home track, so I only live four or five miles away from here. Been brought up as a kid, painting posts here. Um, some of the posts you see in the background's probably been painted by myself in, in previous years. Driving dumper trucks around here, getting ready for schoolboy nationals uh, back when I was a youngster. So I had some of my first races here. I um, actually won my first ever British Championship 85 big wheel race here in 2001. And uh, yeah, it's just been, been a bit of uh, history for me getting brought up in the area and to be back here for a British Championship is, is just, you know, something else really. So, so close for my family, my friends and uh, to put on a good show for the crowd that's going to come along, I think that's uh, going to be one of the highlights of my British Championship career. I think the fans this weekend are going to play a major part in my racing. Obviously coming off a small hand injury, I'm definitely going to need the crowd to get behind me and uh, I think there's going to be definitely no shortage of that this weekend and I think uh, it'll be nice to see all of them along the first straight going into the first turn. So. As a, a good memory from my career, or the highlight of my career, let's say, so far, I would say, you know, winning my first British Championship in 2008, um, that was a massive milestone. A lot of hard work had went into actually getting to that point. And, uh, you know, the, the, the competition I had that year was strong. I overcame a broken collarbone, had it plated on the Monday and rode the following Sunday, only six days after, so. Uh, there's a lot of things went on that season and, and crossing the line at Hoxton Park in 2008 on, on the second moto to win my first ever British Championship was, you know, very special for me. Hey, don't you worry, child, wipe those tears from your eyes. You can sleep when you're dead and done. Until then, don't you worry, son. Until then, don't you worry, son. It wasn't really something that I thought of as a kid. Um, that I wanted to be a professional motocross rider. I always dreamed about riding my motocross bike every week, every minute of every day. And uh, to be actually leaving school at 16 and doing my first GP that weekend, kind of just brought me into the natural progression of starting GPs, doing, doing a full championship. You know, I, I'd done it for free for two or three years just to be able to do it and you know eventually it just came on to, to rides where I was actually taking a small salary and then and then up to now where I am today racing you know motocross my dream job for, for a living so it was uh, it was a nice progression but looking back it's uh, been a lot of hard times and uh, a lot of hard years a lot of hard graft and I've definitely uh, reaped the rewards from from the the effort that I've put in um, you know the championships that I've got and, and the results that I've had. So, as they say, hard work pays off. 
Bit of a weird one, just choosing that over Lerop and uh, Lommel, but I think that was my first ever big success, so I think that's why I chose. Yeah.